I'm starting the book with you. We already covered six games in the last um, stream. And there we go. 1965, Larsen Sweden. Uh, it's a white to move. Let me see which piece it's good to be maneuvered. That's mean that this piece doesn't really work work well or it's working but not really useful. Like what we talk about in Good Achkina game, how she update the position of the knight to uh, crush Irina Crush. <laughs> to crush Irina Crush. So there we go. One more time we have a similar uh, constructure like bishop against knight, but this bishop uh, definitely control here uh, position of the black knight. Okay, it's a white to move. If you have any idea, guys, feel free to share it with me. I'm gonna transfer this later to the library. You see the engine, that's not that's not okay to compare with the engine. Um just because it's not healthy. <laughs> it's not healthy to compare with the engine. This will be better. So now you can check out the evaluation, but not really the moves. That's that's much better. Okay. Lars and sweating. It's a white to move. If you have any, any, any fresh idea, I'll be glad to uh, follow you guys and answer you, uh, analyze it with you. First of all, do we really need to improve the position of the bishop? Not really. Bishop uh, completely uh, block out the knight on f6, so we can uh, think about other piece improving. Queen c7 or the rook on e1 or pawn structure. Okay. Is there somebody uh, who is uh, live in the chat and uh, give it to me a fresh ideas about? Okay, there we go. I'm ready, listening to you guys. Don't be so shy and share with me uh, all ideas. What do you have? Everyone is following Magnus, maybe? I'll be glad if you have any idea. Even the wrong one means that uh, you have something in your mind. <laughs> White to go. Yes, white to move. Which piece it's good to be maneuvering? Hey, hey, Kega, how are you doing? Adriana, Adriana. says, yes. Hey, Kaga. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Jingus, let me know if you have any idea, man. Which piece it's good to be improved here? Look at that pawn also, it's kind of fixing everything, so we can focus about this pawn too. But if there is a queen c5, probably there is a simple rook d8. Not really, um, not really having a background mate, but if knight and rook are not on the way. It's kind of option. We have a fantastic uh, fortress here by this way. H4 will be the best pawn structure. But not really urgent job to push H4. We can do it a little bit later. Rook E7. You want to go there to attack A7. 
but the problem with rook e7 could be i can simply push maybe or i can think about knight d5 and deflect the bishop and sacrifice this pawn and surviving because if i deflect the bishop i'm gonna be happy we need to get rid of knight uh actually you have to get rid uh, you have to improve sometimes it's not just eliminate a very good defender of uh, opponent actually the bishop completely block out uh, this uh, knight so you don't need to trade off you don't need to eliminate the knight rook e8 eventually rook e8 yeah but now even winning of that i want to uh, just explain you in a short version that um this is potential draw just because queen uh, end game with extra pawn is gonna be super long fighting. Rook end game with extra pawn also means very, very, very close to the draw result. So um, here I'm not huge opt optimistic that uh, the game will finish good for white. Uh, there is a huge chance that uh, black will catch up draw. Uh, that's why uh, rook e7 allow that and second of course i can first uh, push a5 it it will be hard to reach this pawn maybe queen c5 yeah you have some domination queen c5 rook behind take care about a pawn it's really important i'm agree okay mr jingus recommend <clears throat> recommend to eliminate the knight i already said that this is not really great uh because you have a much stronger bishop so let, let, let's make some points maybe uh, i can count this bishop like four points or four and half and i can give three points to the knight because he's really a great defender but bishop is uh, dominating on the whole board four four and half points to the bishop power three points for the knight power five and half four and half this is about activity and passivity of current place of the piece yes this is much stronger so makes no sense to trade off him for the knight and rook and game with extra pawn is not winning if we have to be uh, more precise so check out g4 g5 also another candidates of you guys yeah it's okay but i will not fall asleep i will not let you to push g5 that means that if you want to push g5 you have to keep going with h4 isn't it too uh much weakness of your king though so yeah it's a very fresh idea to eliminate the knight but the knight is still having d5 because queen's covering d5 so they can they can try to come here and then knight c3 outpost so after knight d5 probably you have to be provoked to capture the knight and then again extra pawn but i'm not sure after these two hanging pawns again if you are winning so yeah and peace Extra pawn not every time means so much in the end game. If you have more pieces on the board, it's more playable, more winning. The maneuver is by rook. Exclamation mark to the rook. As I told you, Goryachki in the game, also here is the same. Rook is staying beautiful. In general, every rook belongs to the seventh rank. But let's check out the idea behind rook e5. Hmm. I'm not sure if anybody in the chat already find out the idea, but of course it's not it's not even a low in a5, exactly. It's jumping to the rook a5 soon and take a pawn without trading off, without trading off pieces, block out knight d5, uh not allowing pushing of a5, and also it's kind of trap, rook a5, attacking twice the pawn. So black is not really having a possible uh, defense and the activity of the knight too zero activity this is very important uh now unstoppable winning of the pawn so the move in the game is a queen a6 but if there is some activity like queen b1 check king g2 uh queen b6 counter attack thread the queen we can simple trade off rook b5 rook b8 rook b4 so we can attack both but the opponent don't 
uh, opponent doesn't really have a d6 square because he, he already put the rook here. He doesn't really have time to reach d6, the key square to kept both. So he's going to lose this. It's not drawish end game. The difference to the end game before what I explained, its potential draw is here that we still have a bishop on the board. So extra pawn, but rook and bishop against rook and knight. Rook and bishop, I repeat, against rook and knight. This is completely different comparing to the rook and game with extra pawn. Hope so you're gonna remember something out of this lesson. Okay, so rook e5, queen a6 was the move in the game. Rook a5, queen b6, uh, they said. Okay, he's going to counterattack, but if queen b6, of course uh we go through this one more time after trading off we still have a bishop on the board huge difference between rook c8 counterattack mm -hmm. nice way to capture an extra pawn which pawn is in our pocket think 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 because c2 is also hanging chat think 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 try to think so we need to capture two pawns. He's going to capture c2. We need to capture two pawns right now. Let's say one of it gonna be on the way of this. What's gonna be the second one? Because if you capture the queen, I take back the queen, and you cannot really win a pawn. What you what whites have to do right now, like in between move. Hmm. Hmm. Is seven maybe it's also possible? Queen five. Very safety queen e five. We can capture automatic two pawns in a row in a forcing way. Queen d eight in between move, but queen d eight. I take the queen, you take mine, and I have time for defending Hans Cheng, like rook d seven. Queen a7, I like it most of all because then I don't really have rook takes c2 because of the back rank mate. Queen takes a7 is completely possible, yeah. One of the best moves. You can simply take a7, yeah. Maybe black gonna move away the queen then. Queen e5 stronger? Hmm. Queen e5, um, I don't know, looks passive. Are you are you winning something after queen e5, uh, queen e5, queen b6? I don't think so. I'm keeping everything for the moment after after this. What will be for winning of two pawns? Two pawns for winning. In between move, intermediate. We should be seven. Oh yeah, doesn't work. The hey Marcellino, that's that's awesome that you're active. But um, I guess um, I guess Bishop B seven makes no sense because Queen is under attack. So you should solve the problem with the current threat. Queen's under attack. Uh oh yeah. So you have to move away the Queen, or you should take the Queen. That's it. Nobody else. Nothing else. Yeah, guys, we need uh, two more players for the upcoming sub battle into the category of. Uh, let's check out again, but into the category of 1000, 1200. Queen c8. Oh, you mean to take the rook? Uh oh, no. It's too much to take the rook. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, you're one seven blitz in chess.com. We have upcoming sub battle against Havel. Uh, Havel, or <laughs> I can't pronounce it correct. One two one four and one thousand one two. Yeah, one thousand one two and one two one four. 
we're searching for two more players hope so Tauric and Bali or some other people can confirm their participation in this court it would be great if you can send me a personal message or using a sub battle channel in discord i'll be very 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 glad I didn't I didn't hear the move that's why I'm uh, waiting for you guys Adriana says searching for two more players of category 1000 to 1200 Nukush, what about Nukush? Yeah, well, what's his rating? What about Kaga? I'm not sure who can take a part. Mm -hmm. I have already history. I have to make a history. Not being lazy and find out the whole history about all sub battles what I did until now. That's my goal. Don't worry, guys. I want to have some history for this. <laughs> but um, I'm in the process to organize this. Still, yes, 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 yes. Of course, you can simply capture an F7 man by forcing way. You don't hear me. I said forcing way. So, in between way, forcing way, just capture F7 and then the rest of the pawns, rest of the pawn like A7 is in your pocket. There we go. I was giving you a huge hint, but you don't hear me or uh, it's going through the other year. <laughs> um. Just to check out, was it the sub battle in 7:30 p.m. set? I think so. Uh, yeah, sub battle 7:30 p.m. set Salter. tomorrow oh, on Thursday. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, huge thanks out there for the great continuation. 12 miles with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Searching for two more players of category doesn't uh, add one to one for sub battle on Thursday. Trying to make a comment like this. Oh, it's too long. Hmm. Oh, maybe too much. I like to put many, many exclamation marks. The Haval, he's a great YouTuber. He make a candidate tournament for that, guys. He make a candidate tournament for qualifying people in the for the sub battle. I paste this in our Discord. <laughs> his his preparation. <laughs> um Do we have a race to battle? Okay. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Yes, uh, okay guys, so we're really hard searching for two more players, hope so tonight we can find them out. Second best female. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the game. Larsen's waiting and you're completely alright with queen takes f7. I told you king takes and these are the two pawns in a row capturing 
looks like simplifying is benefits for white of course when you've got extra pawn so if you capture this i'm glad to hold on seventh rank of course he want to keep the pressure by rook c7 not capturing c2 um <clears throat> oh we have potential line okay so capture capture uh king e6 if king g6 there is a uh exclamation mark rook a4 the problem will be second pawn is coming to our mouth uh that's why he's going to e6 but then we can simply capture g7 so d4 or g7 is dying soon there we go rook d2 attacking this Ладя взят d3, d Карол g2, uh, g2, uh, I mess up uh, Russian and uh, English. <laughs> and now, uh, yeah, move like 33, bishop g4 check they set. There is a knight takes g4, rook takes g4, rook takes g3, king f1. King d5, rook h4, uh, black is putting the all effort about the d4 um, pass pawn. But this is leading to the draw. So one more uh, fantastic example, guys. Like as much as more you simplify, um, it's getting worse. It's getting worse and you're giving more chances for a pawn. And in, I repeat this hundred times that rook and game with extra pawn means nothing. And here also the engine the top top of me here you can check out the engine one two three variations zero 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 so that's mean that this end game is already draw um why because after okay three pawn is coming kink is coming and so on Pawn is coming, king is very close. You can kick out this king uh, very easy after rook a1 check, after rook a2. Let's check out. Rook takes h7, push. If king is going in front, you go up. Checks are not really treasure because you're gonna activate the king. Maybe check here. And I'll check again. King goes back. And now what to do? Let's say push. Now there is a check, so you cannot really avoid these checks. Let's go here, but now you're giving up f2 and I can simply go behind, bring my king here, push. If, if you hurry up for h5, uh, maybe I really have time for capture this and then go behind the other one, so you cannot really keep everything. Get into dog sleeping and you too by my lesson. <laughs> okay, now black rook stop this. You see, you just use the power of this pawn. In short, kink is cut. Yeah. Okay, let's avoid the perpetual. Let's take a look of second variation. If I don't go in front, that means that somebody has to stop the pawn. This has to be the rook. Let's say check, and now you're gonna bet about pushing. Check here. Of course, king c3, check, not guarantee stopping of the pawn. <gasps> mosquito, so mosquito. Don't take a brief, just a second. I did it, I killed it. Okay, so... Um, you can sacrifice the rook yeah l l l let's let's take a look at this uh scenario if you sacrifice uh, the rook no don't see that's pity <laughs> okay this wanted to eat me so sorry okay let's push d2 there we go let's push as much as possible you promote a queen you sack now um i believe the guy who has to <laughs> who has to uh, survive in this game probably has to be white so you have to hurry up to push rook d8 um let's say h5 no but h5 losing only king f3 and king g3 is leading to the draw 
don't know spiders are saving me up sometimes they 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 catch up mosquitoes spiders are easy yeah cockroaches <laughs> you're scared yeah i find out some hope um cookies for uh like poison cookies you should put poison cookies in the corner of the kitchen to kill cockroaches um all right um <laughs> All sneaks, I, uh, I'm having a super bad, yeah, misunderstood. <laughs> snakes, I have a bad experience with snakes. When I saw one time in my life a real snake, a poison snake in the mountain, it was crossing my road. I, I was just walking like a tourist, um, a regular speed, I guess, not running, but it was crossing my road. And I was like, you team both. <laughs> start, jo start jogging. I mean, the instinct, human instinct will be not to kill the snake. Human instinct looks like you're just um, start jogging and run away. <laughs> so I was jumping it on it and um, crossing it successful. <laughs> There we go. We go too much out of this, so uh, we, we, we just check out your additional questions, guys. King G3, I told you two drawish moves, but let's check out why H5 is losing, because black is also very, very close to the pawns. H6, King E5, G7, King F6, and you don't really have the chance to push H7. <laughs> why I start the stream without you? <laughs> okay, okay. It's not polite, yeah. I, I, I'm so rude, I know. You have 17 kinds of them? Okay. Oh man, that, 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 that's terrible. Oh, disgusting. Ah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sergei Sir will make a new video of this. <laughs> I'm sure about insects. Yeah, I should ask Lucky like, Fritter, of course, about permission. I forgot. So sorry. <laughs> okay. We're searching for two more players, guys. Check out info. So, how King of Three is making a barrier to the Black King crossing this uh, diagonal? Uh, that's why this is the only one chance. So if there is an opposition and black try to kick you out, and now and now King E5, uh, you're ready to push on time. He can capture only one way to make a draw. If you promote, you're gonna lose. So you have to push the king up. If king if rook here, it's gonna be easy draw. Um, but you have to go rook here. In the other case, I just promote rook here here and now uh how to catch up this you can simply bring the king here waiting for promote of course sack the rook and of course catch up this a or b, b team check out the discord to know more about this <laughs> lucky freedom come on man um <clears throat> you can install discord i believe in you Hey Vinny, how are you doing? Vinny is a very active person in Discord, but I don't know him so well, or her, I'm not sure. Where is he from? He pays some more comments, tactics, games, but... Alright, so... You're a boy, cool. <laughs> Um, that's the reason why this is already a draw, guys, and that's the reason why Bishop G4, in this case, going to the Rook and game, even with two extra pawns, getting the fact that D4 gonna be soon advanced, pass pawn supported by King and Rook, you've got the chance to make a draw. That's why Bishop G4 is pretty, uh, weak. 
And that's why they said a little before that um, <laughs> that G4 is the correct approach if you want to win this game. One more time, G4, capture here, King G2, step by step, kick the knight out, not trade off, kick the knight out, and then capture here. <clears throat> oh, you speak Bulgarian? Are you Bulgarian or <laughs> you speak Bulgarian? What's mean that? Stream topic? What? Are you joking sometime? What the banko? Uh, oh, oh, why, why, why? Y you know what? Twitch, Twitch is kind of wrong way like this. There, there are two things. There are two things. Every time when I change it in a regular way, it's going here. And now when I don't change it in this way. <laughs> It's not appearing uh, into the correct way. Oh. I see now. I have to go to the stream manager. Oh, yeah. I yeah, I forgot that I have to go. I changed it in the program, but I didn't change it here. All right. Okay. Well, sorry for that. Yeah, you're all right. That's why people are wondering what I'm showing. Oh, man. I'm so bad. Uh, let's make it correct now. Yeah, I was wondering why it's like this. Yeah, there is a schedule and there it's changed correct. Yeah. But then I have to change it one more time into the manager. It's, it's a little bit stupid. It has to be only one change, I guess. Working. Only one change working, no? Okay, let's make it correct now. Okay, done. Perfect. Almost. With one hour late. All right, I am ready. So, there we go. Oops, so it's time to go to the next position. Oh no, we still didn't finish this one. We go too much out of the topic, like... Rook e7... Knight d5... No, this was the sideline. The correct move here is Rook e5. This is a promoting line. There we go. And we're here. Rook c7. We're exactly here. After Rook c7, there's a King f1. Let's keep going with the main game a little bit more. Team colors? Purple? <laughs> we have less uh, boards this time. Hope so we can collect them on time, guys. <clears throat> what are risky? Did I miss something? <laughs> what are you? What are you? It's Voretsky! Wodersky. Same rook a2, knight b6. Bishop b4, g6, have to activate the bishop. I have to bring the king, of course, to our weakness and one day trying to trade off for this or just attacking d4. And uh, feel free to move away the rook afterwards. g5, rook a5, rook f7, f3. They start to create a pass pawn or work on the... Okay, now, rook c6, activity of the rook. Look at that maneuver, yeah? You're searching for free squares, free availability for the white rook. And white resign. Larsen against Suetin. Oh! <laughs> oh, hidden under <laughs> clouds. Jet ski collection? Uh, I was scary. You know what? Because the instructor behind me, I was driving, but the instructor behind me said, go, go straight, go, go straight. Uh, just don't, don't press stop the button of gas, you know, gas. 
start, start and high speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go, don't go, don't, uh, don't let it down or whatever. But of course, sometimes I let it down just because some waves are coming. And he said, no, 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 just go straight. Look at this building and go there. <laughs> it was first time in my life when I was driving a jet. I was a little bit in, uh, in trouble, start shaking when the waves come. If the waves are not coming to me, it's pretty much fun. But if the waves are, are coming, he said, no, 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 stop. Don't, don't go so fast, we're gonna go down. <laughs> And if it's shaking like this, I was a little bit scary because um, he said, uh, go, go with the high speed. In the next second, he said, take care, we can fall down. This is the end of the season. <laughs> take care, we're gonna fall down. It's okay, we will be not the first couple going down. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, there is something like cave cave uh, full of rocks and i have the feeling that when we go inside uh, it's pretty much uh, pretty much waves yeah and uh there uh, got dangerous i start shaking and uh, trying to go there with the less speed and also every time when you go turn left or turn right i guess uh, you shouldn't do this like uh, like in hyper bullet <laughs> way just because there is a huge chance to fall down. It's pretty risky. It's pretty risky if you take a, a emergency movement. Uh, everything has to be slowed down. Like uh, regular uh, left and regular right. And uh, regular speed too. If it's uh, like this, if everything is regular, um, everything gonna be alright. So one risky movement and you, you're gonna go down to the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> we have no sharks, but who knows? <laughs> uh, the problem was that in the first three to four days it was super windy. You can you can find maybe two persons in, on the beach. <laughs> the first four days was like this. It was uh, super windy, so much waves, uh, super high waves. And it was more for surfing, not for jet. For jet? It's indeed, <laughs> it's indeed, yeah. Uh, to be a calm water, not, not uh, windy. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I know in Dubai you can, you can, you can uh, dive with sharks. And I don't understand really the people who, so, so you pay? You pay with the risk to die with the sharks. If the sharks are hungry, hungry, what's going on? For example, I was I was uh, I was uh, driving a boat, and under me been sharks in Dubai. And the guy, the instructor, again explained, "It's okay if you wish. You can you can dive. Uh, you can dive uh, with the sharks, with the dolphins, whatever you wish. Uh, if I don't forget about uh, give them uh, food," he said. But probably some of them could be hungry. <laughs> so he was totally joking with us. So I didn't believe in him. And sometimes probably there are some accidents. I, I believe it's not safety. If there are too, too much fishes there. It's not only sharks. Little fishes and so on. Um, Australian sharks. <laughs> Actually, I provoked myself. It was the last stream uh, with collecting. Yeah, you you can you can do this in Dubai Mall, guys. There is a shark area in Dubai Mall. <laughs> shark area in in the mall. You have aquarium where I visit aquarium, but uh, it's uh, full of sharks too. Actually, everyone can see them outside, but there is entrance, special entrance also. So you can dive, you can just go to the boat, safety like me. <laughs> I think I appreciate for the moment my life and uh, um, that's why too much risk. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna start talking about... Uh, mm -hmm. Petrosian Suetin, uh, next example is Klimofominich. This was Larsen Suetin. Let's go to the, uh, to the library. 
Uh, all right. Finally, I go to the next example. Too much talking. <laughs> but I felt exciting. Provoking myself to this. In the other case, uh, to be fair with you guys, I'll never do this in my life. First, uh, I think so. It's too much money for something what I will never do in my life and what will have a risk for my life. So I don't really understand it. If there is a risk for your life and you're gonna pay for that. <laughs> so it's kind of strange stuff. Um, it's kind of strange, you know, psychology. You pay for your risk. Why? The question is why? Oh, I try also another bolt after, after it. And it looks even uh, much, much... It's not calling banana, but it's calling uh, sofa. I'm not sure if you know it. It's like sofa, four people at all could be there. And Jet is going straight and uh, make like these circles. But first, it was much worse than riding Jet. Just because water is coming to your face, it's it's super, super <laughs> bad. Second, uh, the gas or the diesel, I'm not sure what uh, oil is using the jet, but this was smelling to us. And absolutely, absolutely bad. <clears throat> yeah, glass bottom boat. Yes, exactly, glass. And you can see the sharks from the boat, yeah. <laughs> here shark so uh sitting down on the sofa and uh hoping for the jet to turn around and make you crazy uh i believe uh, this was uh starting my sickness from there <laughs> because stomach ache and everything was uh, almost out Almost. I control myself. Maybe because of chess. Uh, in the other case, this was uh, high speed. <laughs> because the guy was riding much faster than me, maybe. Or I feel like this. Climophomony. Black to move. Let's go. Climophomony. I gotta flip because it's a black to move. You can see the evaluation is about plus three. So which piece has to be maneuvered? Waiting for you guys. Out of sharks, let me check out which piece it's good to be maneuvered. Doesn't really work for the moment. On bottom of boat, look down. 200 feet, coral. 20,000 kinds of fish. Wow, only cost $20 per person, yeah. Yeah, but Japan probably <laughs> having much more millions. I don't know, uh, like people. In Dubai, everything uh, is not so cheap, <laughs> to be fair. <clears throat> Do you know Unconcerned Reaper? He's really a grand... No, he's not Grandmaster, I think so. Grandmaster Motilov. No, where? Why you think so his Grandmaster Motilov? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I was shouting, I was shouting uh, all, all the way of this, uh, of this sofa. And Jet was fun, but uh, on this sofa I was shouting all, all the time. I was almost dying there. <laughs> Mr. Reaper! Mr. Reaper is a regular Russian strong player, I guess. I don't believe he's Grandmaster, or he said he's not, but who knows. Yeah, I was shouting, go! Oh, my kid's gonna stay without mommy! <laughs> Hope so they're gonna survive. Guys, which piece has to be improved by black pieces? I'm going to share more photos with you in uh, Facebook, my personal Facebook, and my Facebook, most of all, fan page, and Discord too.
Motilov. Really? He could hide himself. I, I have no idea. I'd be glad. Because he's really a good player. He said uh, he's not really playing OTB tournaments. I'm not sure Motilov is playing tournaments. If you share with me a picture, I will not paste it everywhere, but uh, I can uh, check out if it's him, because I, I believe I uh, met most of the Grandmasters everywhere in the world, like open tournaments, national teams too. Lifetime experience, yeah. <laughs> it might be end of lifetime experience, yes. It might be, yeah. I try to not uh, doing that so risky. <laughs> very, very private message. Yeah, I will appreciate it. It's okay, yeah. I know most of the Russian uh, how they looks like. For example, Anton Kurebyov, you know, he's coming to the chat. We, we know that he is. He introduced himself. I'm not sure if some grandmaster could hide himself. Russian or Russian? They're they, they're in general fair fair players. Waiting for suggestions, chat. Don't be lazy. Which piece is good to be improved? Let me know. Baby shark, to do 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 do. Baby shark, to do 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 do. Baby shark. This is a very short example. That means that if you find out the correct maneuver, um, <laughs> if we find out the correct maneuver, um, black will rise up so much the advantage. <laughs> Bishop on e needs to be improved? Really? For me, looks like too much space in front. Why you think so? He has to be improved. I'm not sure you find out the correct place piece. I mean, you have these, 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 these. Even these possible, possible uh, front squares. And he's in a good place. The, 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 the question is uh, also sometimes how you can occupy new weak squares, how you can occupy new weak diagonals by pair of bishops. Try to use the power of pair of bishops. Or what could be a potential attacking... Uh, potential attacking by any of bishop, bishops. Bishop b4 check. Uh, looks like the knight is there. Or b5 or bishop f6. Bishop f6 looks fresh, yeah. To go to the biggest diagonal, it's uh, it's okay. But I believe white gonna push automatic g5 and you're gonna be kicked out very soon. In bishop e5, I can think about this or simplify or trade off. Bishop for bishop will be very good deal because you have a weakness on e6. Try to not give initiative to the white just because of this isolated pawn. Rook d7 and double. Hmm. I could say it's pretty slow because rook d7 they can try to simplify by knight b3, by knight f3. Bishop needs to be behind pawns. <laughs> this this rook has to be improved. Not not really, not really. Whoa, Mr. Sotar! Mr. Sutter! There we go. Klimov Fominich. The move who is leading to the plus three almost is bishop e8, bishop g6 maneuver. Bish Light square bishop is not really super, super well placed. He was just beautiful placed, but look at how many po front possibilities he've got. a4 not really useful because of b3, e4 not really under our control, f3 not under our control, so there is only one free potential not good square. g2 under attack, a4 after b3 under attack, so two of these front squares are not really a great moves, so of course we're looking for the weaknesses guys weaknesses attacking the king 
and open up the rook. Why the rook on c8 is not a good place? Come on, he's perfect place. You just discover, you just go through the pin. Potential b5, potential check, potential bishop d3, boom, double attack. So, makes sense if you little bit force the things and open up a bad place, as you said, bad place, but it's not really bad place. Peace. You didn't see uptime. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> Here, I believe you don't need any more continuation. When you see already the continuation, you can uh, share, oh, it's so easy, of course, bishop e8, bishop g6, but when you have to push yourself to find it out, probably uh, it's not so <laughs> easy. I've got four other candidates without sense so much. Rook d3, yes, maybe double the rooks, but it's gonna be forcing way, and already king is in a very, very tough situation on a3 this is the difference between everything happens and everything happens by forcing way white c5 uh, well what's the threat if white is playing h3 guys uh, what's the threat of rook c3 what's the idea behind that move let me see if you find it out. Why black was provoked to give up that pawn? How unusual. Yeah, log is late. Oh, three times B. Oh no, what's what's this arena? It's wrong way. <laughs> it's another thing. <laughs> yes, it is. Have a nice night, Fendi. How are you doing? Adriana says yes. searching for two more players of category 1000 to 1200. Marcellino underscore pain underscore e underscore vino. Thanks for huge subscribing. Thanks, Sultar. Huge, huge, Holly. huge thanks. Thanks for subscribing. For five subs. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you. Lyndon's L. Thanks for subscribing. Lima Dado. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, oh Michael. Yeah. Lindo. Lima Dado. Huge thanks, guys. Keep going and let's go to find out more, more, more players into the upcoming sub. Adriana says, Was it behind searching for two C3? more players of category 1000 so to 1200. Like H3, what we can do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is a forcing uh, win. Yeah, I can see that it's going to be win for sure. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to Russia. Russia got, got first place. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I, always, I have no idea why you're asking about this. Yeah, one day I should make like speed run or how they call it, and they start from zero rating. I would not start from zero. I think I reach about one four. Oh, you're talking about the sub battle if we cannot find two more players. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Any army? Any army rating is oh one two. Okay. Blitz, um, it's about one, two. 
We should be sinking between Rook C2. All right, let's keep going. Everything is super forced because if you go up, boom, pair of bishops. Look at that. Checkmate by pair of bishops. Any army can play. <laughs> if we cannot find anybody else, yeah. Logis can give a sign. Uh, so check if uh, King B2 is going to be the only one move. Rook C2, check. Boom. If here there is any discover, check. Winning the knight. And if king a1, what we can do? Keep going. With powerful attack. Bishop F6 looks like the most natural, but probably allows white to sacrifice. So what could be a little bit more winning move? A little bit more winning move, like not even allowing opponent to sacrifice an exchange. Bishop 4 Bishop A3. Yes, Lassan. Yes, 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 man. Bishop B4, I'm not sure. There's a knight B1 maybe, but Bishop A3 is pretty awesome because Bishop B2 is almost unstoppable. And if Rook B1 hold on that square for the knights defending, then you can go back. Such a sneaky maneuver. Such a sneaky maneuver. So first Bishop A3 and then Bishop B4. It's much more clever. All right. So we are around here. They sacrifice c5 pawn, and the game is over here. Bc, rook f4. That makes no sense. It's gonna be the same fortune. Rook, oh no, no rook c3. Bishop c3. Sorry. Let's delay that. Bishop c3, and the game is over. After bishop c3. Hey hey, PLC. How are you doing? Happy to see you. We go through the next topic is uh, queen fairs on um, Russian is fairs. Not really topic, but yeah, we just go to the next uh, next game between Se Dzun Se Dzun. Ah, this is this is on English, I believe. Xi Jun has to be Xi Jun. Against Galamova, another Russian. Xijun is a former world champion, if I'm not wrong. To be fair, I have problems to remember the old Chinese woman uh, names. Uh, I know that all of them are pretty powerful, but... Um, Xijun, I remember it, yeah. Gesund Heid. So this is the 14th game between uh, match Kazan, Shenyan. 1999. 1999. There we go. It's a black to move. Interesting position because black kink is there. <laughs> Is definitely definitely in trouble. Mm -hmm. But it's a black to move. The power of the queen is here. What we have. So a every uh, game uh, looks like a game before it was the power of the bishop. Uh, you know the pair of bishops. Uh, game before it was power of the rook and now uh, the topic gonna be power of the queen uh, how effective could be the queen mm, like creating uh, generating two uh, huge weaknesses of opponent combined with uh, tactic and clear positional advantage this is the technique uh, tec technique of double attack how you can use the queen's power most of all it's like highway the b file now <laughs> it's like highway 
We found, yeah, we found who everyone is knowing it. I'm talking about the other Chinese because let's say Chinese national woman team is most of them are having more than two five rating on my time. Maybe now they reach two six, but I'm talking about my time when I uh, took a part in the national team. All of them are having two five. And let's say I know only Wu Fang Hu and Zhao Xiu is former world and uh, Xi Jun, yes, former world, and that's it. But all other three, four players, I don't know them, and they have more than two five, <laughs> but I don't know them. Um, they made too much local tournaments, I believe, on this, and they're pretty powerful. Black to move, guys. Black to move. How to use the highway, how to use the power of the queen, and how to get rid in this looks like almost losing back rank situation for the black king. I'm gonna flip the board now. Black to move. Just come. Fair, let's compare. All right, it's a black to move. Ladies' game. Xi Jun against Galamova. Oh, a little is one against Koryakin. That's awesome. This is not. Knight c6? Wait, what do I mean? Oh, yeah, it's a black to move. Just a second to flip the board. You see the variation on the top uh, here is about uh, plus 5, plus 2, th 3. Uh, knight c3, maybe he meant knight c3. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, I'm waiting for suggestions one more time. Waiting for correct suggestions <laughs> or, or wrong. Depends on you. <laughs> Illegal move, yeah. Try try to suggest illegal moves at least. <laughs> by the way, in the game, the ga the move is by question mark, but it's the third uh, third candidates from engine. It's it, it's this move uh, in the game, just zero point eight. So let me see uh, who could play Says. better. Illegal. <laughs> who could play better than uh, this move in the game uh... but of course opponent is also uh, doing a mistake oh no wait a second white won white won this game white won look at the evaluation and white just won <laughs> so that's mean that you said queen c8 okay how did you find out that move? Hmm. You're genius, so tired and long and uh, who else? So tired, queen c8, threatening queen g4, exactly. So, if you uh hear me correct, a little before I was uh, setting up the position. The power of the queen is like exactly using two weaknesses, two different directions. She's uh, going to the highway, she's going to the bishop's threat, like queen g4, and highway, the c2 threat also. Uh, Captain Logis, <laughs> uh, Captain is taking care about commons. Everyone is having uh, different exercises. So, the move in the game was a queen c7 question mark just because losing the huge evaluation after queen c8 one more time. This was the completely winning move with two exclamation marks. Two exclamation marks. Queen c8. Rook c1 defense. Still queen c4 is queen g4 is coming just because attacking h5 and g6. Oh, there is a one more threat. Let's see. Hmm. 32. They said beautiful geometry. <laughs> For some point, you using geometry like uh, <laughs> like geometry where is going the queen? Like uh, it was something like triangulation here, triangulation threat. You know, um, beautiful geometry. 
uh, of the queen. If rook goes back, I'm gonna push you, chat, to find out a one more beautiful tactic out of this powerful situation. Step by step, putting the both rooks on the back rank. What is having black right now? What a beauty is having black. <laughs> My computer engine. <laughs> so tired, suggest queen c8. <laughs> Rook e5, queen g6, protects e8. Knight c3, boom! 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 It actually doesn't matter rook e5 or rook h1 or rook whatever you wish. Boom! There is the boom! Don't forget about boom! Don't forget about looking for hanging pieces! Of course, pawn is not really important. Queen g4 was a so much threat, like rook on d1, this rook on h5, and the queen on a4. Boom! Beautiful geometry! Boom! All right, so let's go back to the game to, to check out how uh, Black was talented to lose that game. Yes, exactly, to lose that game instead of simply win. Beautiful geometry. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Queen c7, rook c1. This, this was happening in the game. Rook g2, another mistake of black, so step by step, mistake after mistake, if you don't feel really confident, my recommendation is offer a draw. Queen d6 was keeping some advantage, I guess, uh, as fast as possible, attacking g6 and destroy this pawn structure and get rid from back rank threat. <clears throat> Rook g2 was a mistake just because giving up that. She's using the fact that after winning a pawn, protecting at the same time g6. Covering and then tucking this. Rook h3 and uh, of course uh, fighting is a pretty long. They don't really give us um, the whole game. But this is between Xijun, Xijun and Galamova. So sometimes to be a world champion you need to be lucky. You need to be lucky white won this game by long fighting okay i think we cover already three games let's keep going next is between janowski and rubinstein janowski and rubinstein It's gonna be oh black to move two exclamation marks too here. We have a move like two exclamation marks. So, so, so much pawns, it's non-standard to have so much pawns on the way. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. It's a black to move. black to move um yeah okay let's flip here the advantage is not so much melski janowski <laughs> not melski janowski against rubinstein karlsbad it's like karlsbad pawn structure 1907 let's must play like i do <laughs> Yeah, probably uh, Queen C8, you can find it out only if somebody uh, say to you, stop man, you have to find out the best move in your life. And uh, of course, you're going to spend more time in this uh, critical moment. Uh, but if nobody push you to, to find out the, the, this move, uh, yeah, probably it's hard to, hard to find out that this is the most important moment in your, your game. Only one moment is enough. Now, the black's queen 
find out any move for black side. Every time I went, which turn it is, I flip the board. So now it's a black to move. Okay, try to find out uh, maneuver. Spend time. <laughs> If your rooks, guys, if your rooks are into the best position, so you don't think so, you have to be here, either here, by this rook or with the other rook. Of course, king, uh, no need to be improved. Uh, next step could be, I believe, queen's position and pawn structure. So if the rooks are on the perfect squares, perfect position, attacking position to pressure on uh, weakness of f3, the next step is uh, start uh, thinking about the queen's position improving and uh, how and where searching for the best square best opportunity <laughs> such a maneuver you, you will never find out this um Hmm. Rook H5. Hey, Phew, how are you doing? Rook H5. Uh, if you're hoping for silly mystics, guys, probably White is having enough defense on the second rank just by bringing this rook to the second rank or the other one to the second rank. Yes, he, he's going to see H2 mate. And I'm asking you about potential plan. What to do next? If it's gonna be Rook H5? following by queen h3 what's gonna be next after simple move rook f2 if i'm not blind and i see the checkmate what's going to be your next plan gyaku recommend b6 um to stop c5 i i don't really think so c5 is a threat because i would be glad to capture it's a free pawn in my eyes for the moment the idea is to improve position of the queen. I'm giving you a huge hint. We still have a topic. Queen's improving. Oh, the next topic gonna be king's improving. Vicer Yusupov. That's, that will be nice if we finish this chapter like all pieces improving. Go, go, guys. I trust you. <laughs> Probably if nobody one more time pushed me to find out this maneuver for the queen, I'll never find it out. But if somebody uh, mentioned that there is unusual maneuver what i have to find out probably then i can uh, create something like this queen e7 queen g5 is one of the best yes okay you want to have a piece on the g file lesson is also correct for some point <laughs> Hey, fair dessert. How are you doing? Are you free tomorrow? What is your rating? We have upcoming sub battle. We'll be glad. B4, C5. A5. You, you want to stop, stop this. The idea is not to prevent some threat because for the moment there is no threat against you. So stop preventing any threat what is not really existing, please. <laughs> yeah, in general, A5 lo looks great to occupy this weak square. <clears throat> oh, you're too too. You're too strong. Forget about this. <laughs> Forget about question then. We're searching for a little bit weaker players, but not so weak, of course. King's improving. <laughs> well, next example is like this. Yeah, they're talking about the king. Carol. Now we talk about fairs. Queen. B5. Phew. Okay, let's go back to, to, to the previous plan, like uh, this one. So queen e7, queen g5. But they used to play queen d8 with the same threat, queen g5, queen g4. But if they prevent queen g5, what to do next? This will be interesting. What to do next? So they said if there is a rookie one, such a little bit empty move, yes, queen g5 looks like a real threat. You want to go also inside to potential threat. 
Rook f4 is the real threat attacking the queen followed by pushing a v4 and use the power on the f file or start, start pushing h5 h4 to use the power of the g file pin. Yes, there we go. But this happening in the game, queen g4, h5 gonna be too much. I'm not pretty sure h5 is, uh, is, is okay. <laughs> Akiba Rubinstein, great player. What did he do? That's why he didn't move, why he didn't move the queen to e7 on reaching g5. What was the other idea? So you, you, you go through one way. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Jingles, just one... Please, yeah, don't share with the whole world. In... <laughs> don't share this with the whole world. Just stay in a private messages for the homeworks, for for a coaching process. I'll be very, very glad. Uh, rook g5, queen h4. Rook f4. Hmm, yeah. Stop castle. Queen a8, pin rook. Yeah, similar thing, similar thing, stop castle. Exactly, queen a7. Rook g5, I'm not pretty sure of rook g5, probably because queen e6, rook f6, alright, I can keep going with this diagonal, queen e6, queen h3, and uh, I'm not sure I see the threat. Next, he can bring any rook on the fourth run, keep going with this. So you have to be really precise and careful what, what you're gonna push. Um, so, uh, our stop castle in the chat is uh, super correct. Queen b8. Not a8, but b8, because on b8 you're a little bit more flexible. Maybe v5, but the general threat is queen a7. There we go. So, queen b8, king g2. That was the plan of queen d8, so you're flexible about two ideas. Queen b8, queen a7. Uh, wait, queen, king g2, queen a7, Akiba Rubinstein, rook e1, queen c5. Activity and start using the weak, plenty, dark squares around. Queen side part, by queen. Activity and then you could be ready also to push any pawn storm on the queen side part. The general threat is this basic point a5 a4 breakthrough, and of course, in any moment you can bring any rook to this side of the board and increase the pressure. All right, hope so. You find out a fresh plan idea out of this with the queen d8. When you sometimes, when you don't know what to do, don't go for a bad moves. Try to searching for unusual, non-standard idea, like this. Improving of the kink will be uh, also something unusual. Again, it's black to move. Okay. This uh, next uh, game, <laughs> you can play of the category. <laughs> 1,200. Maybe we can put Francesco on the last board and we can move everyone everyone to the top, like half of Nelson, one board up, so we can a um, little bit put ourselves under under the rating rage category, but feel the least at least. So if Francesco could save up the match, it would be nice on your army. But also Tavoric can play. Where is Tavoric? He didn't respond. <laughs> he avoid our questions. Um, yeah. the problem is that blundering piece is not any good <laughs> but I'm sure blundering piece is just based on the time pressure not really um, because you don't see it <laughs> so yeah hey Paul how are you doing He's higher. Yeah, yeah. He's just joking, Mr. Jingles. He's just joking. <laughs> mm. 
in this game it is between Weitzer and Yusupov. Um, 1976, Novosibirsk. So, 80% of the games are in uh, Russia. <laughs> I have this feeling of... Oh, the pawn structure is here. Almost full pawn structure. Seven pawns are about. Yep. And almost all the pieces are here, so position is a little bit more complicated. It's like Karpov style, start, uh, immigrate, start, transfer the king to the other side of the board, something like that. So now, for example, white king is still in the center and black king is pretty opened after h5, so... <clears throat> You're sorry for the dark square bishop? You feel sorry for the... Ah, for this dark square bishop, okay. <laughs> Yusupov, Artur Yusupov, unique player also. Evacuation, we have this in 50 strategy. Don't forget about reading these books, guys. <laughs> or, or part of them. <laughs> As you read some of them, so... Uh... Don't worry if this even costs all your life, but... Even choosing five books of this, you can get success. Uh, anything will come to you, like correct information. And uh, I believe it could be useful if you read the correct books, not the wrong one, just by reading and going truth. Black to move, guys. Um, this is the position, yes. We have something like Stonewall Ball Structure. Of course, the Dark Square Bishop is pretty weak. Completely correct, king is still in the center, but h5 is coming, so the question will be how black could save up this. Let's flip the board. There we go. And there is a huge hint, of course, that... King's maneuvering, evacuation of the king. Lucky Fritter is a great joker, he has uh, great wins against international masters, uh, he's a great creator, great translator, um, he's a great joker. King of 7 yes. You must evacuate the king just because h5 is coming and after g6 then you will not have any more possibility to evacuate the king. Very close game, rapport against Magnus. All right. Due to h5, but after, let's say, I can be sneaky. So if you're gonna play, like, let's say, like, rook e8 pays zero attention, I can push h5. And if you still don't evacuate the king, if you capture here, after queen takes h5, you will not get any more the chance to evacuate the king. G boom, g6 is coming, and I've got some checkmate trouble. Too much hints. <laughs> yeah, too much hints, but let me see. King f7, a4, king e8, bishop d3, king d8, h5, pin. Also, you can use the power of the h file. But white has to do something, so he has to push. King c7. Yeah, we're gonna keep going with the three minutes just to practice for upcoming sub battle for tomorrow. One more time, I'll be glad if we find people on time for tomorrow. Dierge even is making a tournament for the people who wish to take a part in the battle. Just capture g6, f4. Hmm, we have another position here. Um, they want to take control of the h file, what uh, he said. So rook h7 is one of the candidates. Rook h7. Mm, 
Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be three minutes, not three plus two. So that's why we're gonna practice today three minutes time control. It's much better. If I practice three plus two tomorrow, you're gonna cry that we don't practice three minutes time control. So it's better to practice three minutes time control like it will be the same time control tomorrow. Yeah, you can still evacuate after h5, but after h takes g6, if you have a king on g6, it will be not so nice. So, le let's say you're gonna play rook e8, what we talk about. So, if you evacuate right now, I believe after h takes g6, king takes g6 is impossible. So, if you leave my pawn here, again, it's not that brilliant. Yeah, you're slightly better, but you see where you're going. So, you don't need to allow that. You don't need to allow that. You can see if we play regular, normal chess. Yeah, I just explained to him that h5 is coming, hg is also coming. Anyway, white will going to open up h file and create a dangerous threat. That's why we're doing this into the preventive way, plus open up h file, plus open up h file for the black rook. And our rooks are connected, white are still not connected. So, there are two difference, um, two benefits out of evacuating the king on time, on time. Double the pawns, but they're up. It's extra pawn. Double the pawns, but this is extra pawn. So you have to fight to take it back. It's not so simple. So he keep going with rook h5. But it's not that brilliant because of the simple, simple, simple tactic. You want to go to rook e8. Probably rook e8, your move is better than this one in the game. Yes, your move is the best. <laughs> Phil, Phil is the best tonight. <laughs> Bishop takes f4, some uh, general threat, or eliminate the rook and then capture on f4, of course. So rook h5 is not so genius because allowing bishop takes f5. Queen takes f5. Take here, queen c2. Queen f3. Such a sacrifice of black. But go inside. Not really. Uh, now the game is exciting, the game is not so clear, because black sacrifice exchange without, uh, without a reason. He just blunder f5 pawn, now the move what was uh, going through with advantage was a knight c4 occupy these squares as fast as possible, and probably again few move for key 8 is preferable to make pressure here, either here, and then be ready to go here, either here depends where is free and of course don't trade off the queens that's pity my favorite uh, one of my favorite players uh, is rapport of course i follow some openings of him queen b2 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 queen d3 and objectively uh, it's uh it's pretty even position followed by perpetual uh checks by this way using the diagonals or this squares around and uh objectively draw oh but uh the final result the final result was uh uh winning for black if i understand correct They said that the first uh, first former world champion Wil Wilhelm Steinitz uh, study that the king uh, is the strongest piece ever, uh, who is uh, defending himself. Who is defending himself? <laughs> So probably into the potential end game, probably King was uh, m much more active here on the on the queen side part. It's just like suggestion. <clears throat> successor? What's mean successor? What do you mean successor? Do, do you mean seconder or? I'm not sure if he's still active player. To be fair.
plan to cover maybe one more game how is the time going oh we can spend okay let, let, let's go for one more game and i'm gonna jump to play against viewers three most of all subs most of all subs uh practicing for tomorrow if you're uh able to play today against me guys okay activity of the king one more good exercise of that Teichmann against consul consultante <laughs> okay following champion to take their place <laughs> it's a white move this time mm -hmm. boom 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 all right last pieces here it's kind of end game looks like If you miss any lesson, I'm I'm still trying to uh, order the content in uh, YouTube, uh, so in the playlist. So if you miss any uh, stream, I'm trying to cut it and uh, go over this with the shorter content or clear content out of the stream. So check out and don't forget about like every single video. This will be great support of me cost too much you just need to click on the button like i'll be very very glad to you guys thankful all right it's a white move last jumping to king's maneuver <laughs> king's maneuver topic load there we go perfect so Teichmann against Consultante? I don't believe it's existing name like this. Consultante means uh, somebody who you're talking with. <laughs> He's now number one S to Palo. Ah success. Num who is now number one S to Palo is on pension. <laughs> After Tupalov, it's Chuparinov. Uh, probably after Chuparinov, I'm not pretty sure. Could be Kirill Gilgiev. He's still winning tournament after tournament, but Chuparinov is taking a part in more, um, more famous opens all over the world. So Chuparinov is definitely number two. Uh, Chuparinov, Gilgiev, uh, I think Atanas Kolov is in abroad, probably in USC. Atanas Kolov. Uh, not sure. Actually, Kirill Gurgiev changed the federation. I'm not sure which one is here right now. Probably Macedonia. Um, Vasil Spasov, also another powerful grandmaster. But they go down of 2 5, so I don't believe uh, we can count them like strong grandmaster. For me, stronger are about 2 7. We don't really have such a players. Only these three are in my list. Uh, Topalov, Chuparinov, and Georgiev. Uh, everyone else is under 2-6 to under 2-5. King H2. King F2. King F2, there is a potential check. I'm not pretty sure it's okay to go there. And uh, King H2, no more checks, so make some sense. King G3, King H4, King H5, King G6. Like Nigel. <laughs> King March to G6, okay guys, you got inspired, I see, you got inspired. King H2, Teichmann, Glasgow, 1902. By the way, congratulations to Cristiano Ronaldo for transferring and for the successful matches already in Manchester United. <laughs> out of chess, out of chess. B5, King G3, there we go h4 h5 g6 is the general threat congratulations guys you're thinking like uh title players with potential rook e3 rook g3 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow, like Vader. <laughs> like, like usual, great Joker. Great Joker. But guys, the question is, why King G3 now is a criminal move? <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Okay, why Queen G... Why King G3 is not really great? <laughs> oh, by the way, the best move was boom. Simplify. Queen E6. The best is simplify. Boom. Advance past pawn. Protection. And now who is going to find out amazing, amazing, amazing tactic? Super forcing way. What do we have in the end? I have also to calculate. It's one, two, three, four, five, six moves. Six moves and we're gonna have bishop against knight and extra pawn. This is the simplest way. Better to play, better to watch. <laughs> so in six moves, how white could go to the position with extra pawn? Passage scored. <laughs> What's the approach of white to go to the extra pawn? It's very interesting, by the way, tactic. It's not so complicated, it's super forcing, that's why. I mean, you cannot compare this position that there are six moves into the forcing way, like comparing to the, some French defense, positional, boring stuff, and you don't know what's, what's happening. <laughs> you not find it anyway no 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 it's just continuation like uh white didn't do that white didn't do that he didn't go to simplify and getting an advanced pass pawn e7 boom knight f5 boom knight takes g7 boom knight goes back such a sneaky maneuver repetition what we already talked about this earlier in the stream and then boom two extra pawns i mean two sorry two connected pass two connected pawns and this is a clear pass pawn extra pawn on the king side part the game is over everything is super forcing way let's go back to the game another question why king g3 is criminal what can black do against this maneuver of white this is the plan of white going this direction they didn't find out this move this precise move i'm not sure um oh okay why it's super precise but yeah probably indeed indeed let me waiting for suggestions oh samui can uh type faster than you yeah or just work out faster <laughs> you need uh, several more bullet games <laughs> this is the last exercise guys so waiting for response we have a one more position also one more interesting diagram out of this game. Teichman. 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 So why King G3 is not really working? Actually, it's hard to ask you this because I also don't find out a current threat, but Queen D1. So if you're behind, in general, you create some threat, you create some pressure some potential checks you create some threat here king h4 let's say king h7 keep going rook e3 rook g8 rook g3 <clears throat> and now queen d2 um for some point is keeping the pressure for a pretty even position so you don't really have king h5 now just because i come here and you don't really have access of g6 so well and also there is a potential check like that hanging pawn g2 and uh black gonna be fine he didn't find out queen d1 so he just play hmm b5 in the game
Wait, what's going on? Why king h to b5? King g3, uh huh, g6. So black just simply push g6. Of course, this is a huge mistake. Uh, white is going direct to the rook e3. <laughs> Anna size, Anna size, who is Anna size? One five blitz, two five puzzles. Okay, strange rating like one five. Yeah, but it's possible. Yeah, it's like so tired, looks like. You can see this? Yeah. I have the feeling that something is wrong in this position. But wait a sec. No, 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 no. I missed some move, guys. Just a second. It's my fault. Uh, Queen d1, no. So king h to b5, king g3. Sorry. A5 question mark to A5. This is the main move in the game. A5. Young blonde girl. Maybe 2022. Young lady, very sweet. <laughs> Mr. Jingles is knowing all the streamers. G6 right now. Okay, now it's not really a checkmate. So rookie 3 exclamation mark. Prepare to bring the rook here. Anyway, queen takes g2. Mm. Rook G3. Oh, by the way, if there is a G5, of course we go up, up, up. And if queen takes here, king G6. And boom, there we go. This was our final goal. Yeah, you thought he had a girlfriend, yeah. He's keeping everyone. FG. He just appreciate the beauty. That's it. Black resign. We just simply go up. And also this is kind of threat. I'm not sure Queen H7 is protectable. There is a final check. But then we just go up. Like one more time. Black resign. cheating <laughs> okay so there we go um this was the game between Tegman and consultante one more time wow boom we covered 12 games last lesson six games and this lesson uh we cover six more games